Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to speed up your orchestral writing workflow by utilizing Logic's articulation set. So let's dive in. There are three parts to Logic's articulation set settings, the switches, articulations, and output. The articulations pane is where you can create or remove articulations, rename them, and to assign channels to them. The output channel is where you can set what the articulation will do when it's triggered. And the switches pane is where you can manage how the articulation will be triggered inside Logic's environment. So today we're going to be working with a key switch patch from Hollywood Brass. So let's load up a new instrument track. And from the information pane down at the track section, you can see the articulation set. Click on it and click new. And then the articulation set will pop up. So let's load up our instrument. Let's navigate to the articulations pane. From the instrument itself, you can see there are lots of articulations. Today we'll be focusing on the first six. So the first thing we'll do is to bring up the articulation set settings. And as we know, we have six articulations, so we need to create six articulations in this tab, in the articulations pane. Okay, and then we can rename them to our likings. So I will do it quickly. Okay, it has been set up. So we know if this is triggered, it has to do something. And we know that in order to trigger these articulations, we have to press on our keyboard, C0, C sharp 0, and so on. So we need to tell Logic to do this. So we go to the output pane. And from here, as we know, we are pressing on the keyboard. So it's a note on key switch. And we have to do it for every single one of them. And then you can assign channels if you want, if that's how um, your instrument is set up. But for now, it's um, no specific channels. And you have to input the respective notes. It's a bit time consuming, but it's worth it once you've set it up. It's so easy afterwards. So we have set up the output for the articulations. And we can try record something and see how it works. Okay. Something like this. And so we can double click on it or press P to bring up the piano row. On the left hand side of the piano row, you can see there is an articulation section here that shows what each note is doing with the articulation. So for now, it's all susmax, but you can change it by highlighting it and selecting from the drop down menu. So I, I like this to be legato slur. And maybe these two are, maybe this one is legato slur. And then these two are macato long. Let's try that. And these short notes are staccatos. Da -da. Oh, maybe Mikato short. So I've switched it all up with different articulations. Let's hear it. So let's get back to the articulation set settings. So we have done the articulations and we have um, assigned the outputs to them. So what does the switches pane do? The switches pane is where you can set up the triggers for the articulation. So how you're going to trigger the sus max besides pressing on the keyboard C0 every single time. So we need to set up all the triggers first. So by default, the selector is mirroring the output selector. So once you have done that, if you press B to bring up the smart control, you can see there's an extra tab here. This is really convenient for you to switch between different articulations. So like the legato slur here. And there's the staccato. So by setting up this way, every time you want to change the articulation and record, you can just press B and then go to the key switches. 
instead of going into the instruments instance and look at it because、uh, different instruments may have different key switches. So that's really troublesome to open up the instruments every time. So if you have set up for each of the instruments, you can press B and go into the smart controls to find your articulations. So besides mirroring the output, you can also change it to any values. I like to do it outside of the keyboard range, say C negative two, and so on. So you won't accidentally touch the、um, key switches and change the articulation, and it will be less confusing. Here we go. So you can see in the smart controls, the key switches tab, the notes that are shown here have changed too. Besides the note on trigger, we can also do other kind of triggers to suit your playing on the go. For example, here I have the Dimension Strings violin set up. It's from the VSL. You can see I have the trigger note, the note on triggers for every other articulations, and I have one extra for the portamento articulation. Because I was using the LA strings before, and there's a patch where you can conveniently play a lower velocity note, and it will trigger the portamento. But in the dimension strings, the legato and portamento are separated, so there's not a trigger where I can just play low velocity notes to trigger the portamento. But I can do it with Logic's articulation key sets. So basically, I've set up the portamento here, and I can set up how to trigger it. You just need to add a new trigger, and then you select velocity, and then you set up the value. So below the value twenty, it will play the portamento. So let me trigger the. That's the legato. And if I play it with a low velocity, let's record something. Okay, so you can hear there is a portamento going on in the first two notes, and this is a mistake. If you highlight it, because I've selected legato to start with, most of them are in legatos. But here, because I play a really low velocity note that's under twenty, it's gonna recognize the portamento articulations, and then it will record it as a portamento articulation. You can always change it here to anything else. But yeah, this is how the trigger works. And I would like to also show you in the output section. You can activate the multi outputs. So as you can see, why do I need the multi outputs? If the articulation is triggered, it will send out multiple outputs. So in this case, I'm sending two notes on. How the Synchron Player organizes the articulations is that they have it in different folders. In order to do the say staccato, you will first need to go into short notes, and then you go into the staccato. So without the articulation set. You need to press the C note and then go into another octave to press another C or C sharp note. So by setting it up here, I have the output doing exactly what it needs to be done. So it's playing C negative two and C negative one. I'm putting this in the range outside of the keyboard because I'm just doing one articulation set for all of the strings. So you know the double bass go very low. So I don't have to do a specific. Articulation set for double bass. I'm using it for all of my dimension strings with a single articulation set. So sometimes there is not a key switch patch available. You have to combine different articulations to make your own specific instruments. I'm going to show you how to use articulation set to organize that. So let's bring up a new software instrument track, and let's load up Contact, and let's do Berlin Woodwinds. So let's say you would like to do a flute, and you want to load up only three articulations, maybe staccato, 
staccatissimo and portato long. So you can see the output of the three, they are going to stereo one. And the MIDI channel, this is using MIDI channel one, this is using MIDI channel two, and this is using MIDI channel three. And what you're going to do in the articulation set is, firstly, we have to create three articulations, name them to avoid confusion. And what should the output be? You should set it to the channel of the specific articulation. So number one for flute legato, staccato should be number two, and this one should be number three. And for the switches, it's how you trigger the articulations. So let's do the normal way, the note on, on our keyboard or on anywhere. And so let's put it to zero, zero, C sharp zero, and D zero. Okay, so it's all set. Remember to save it so that you can load it up for future use. So we can put save as, we can click save as, and just name anything. Flute one, three articulation, something like that. So that you can choose it from the drop down menu in the future. Let's bring up the smart controls, and then you can see we have legato. We have staccato. And we have the port. Today I have shown you how to utilize Logic's articulation sets to manage your key switches patches and how to combine multiple articulations and control it with the articulation set. If you would like to know more about theme scoring, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.